Hello everyone. So I've been reading about cystic fibrosis and I came across that cystic fibrosis along with a lot of other lung conditions like asthma and COPD are actually related to GERD. So why is that? It's uh, because of lung hyperinflation. So today we'll be talking about how lung hyperinflation causes gastroesophageal reflux disease. Right. So first, why is gastroesophageal reflux disease? Why is GERD? So um, basically, it's the reflux of your acid out of your stomach and up your esophagus. If you look at the human anatomy, um, this is the esophagus, and this is the stomach, and this is the diaphragm here. So um, usually, there's a lower esophageal sphincter. Oh, this is a more zoom in view. The lower esophageal sphincter will actually be contracted to prevent this acid from going up the esophagus. But however, when this lower esophageal sphincter is relaxed, acid is able to come up through the esophagus, come up from the stomach through the esophagus. So the symptoms of GERD would be, um, so if the acid reaches this point here, it will irritate your esophagus and it will cause a heartburn. And if it goes up all the way to the back of your mouth, you will experience something known as the acid brush, or you taste something sour or bitter at the back of your throat, which is actually your stomach acid. And then typically people will swallow it back. So um, how does this lung hyperinflation cause GERD? So if you look at the anatomy here, here's the diaphragm. Here's the diaphragm. And when you inhale, so let's say this is a exhale diaphragm. When the, the diaphragm is exhale, it's a dome shape. And then when you inhale, it's flattened. This is caused by the contraction of your diaphragm muscles. And we know that muscle contraction causes shortening of the muscles. So when the muscles of the diaphragm contract, you actually pull the esophagus apart. So it actually dilates the esophagus and then uh, it prevents the lower esophageal sphincter from constricting this part here uh, properly. So what happens in lung hyperinflation? Um, there's more contraction of your diaphragmatic muscles and this causes your lower esophageal sphincter to not work properly. And that's why um, a lot of these respiratory uh, conditions, they're actually uh, associated with GERD. And so um, that's how lung hyperinflation causes Thank you.